Hello, possums. Draymer Smith here. Dreaming in what's left of the Ocean Monument. Because I've got plans for this. I've had plans. I keep saying that. And I'm a little sick of the creeper farm at the moment. I'm working on some redstone for it. And, oh, it's giving me the pip, so I'm taking a break. And I want to really open this up. I want to get some stairs in. So that's what we're going to do today. Now, the first thing, as you can see, I'm putting in some prismarine pillars because... I want to acknowledge that this used to be an ocean monument, even though it's not going to be anymore. So I'm putting in the pillars and then I'm going to carefully dig out this great big barrel of stone that I left around the Guardian drop chute. The Guardian drop chute's still going to be there. We're just going to make it look a bit nice. We're going to be able to see it. I've done some testing between rates in this and rates in the Guardian Farm in my creative world and this will be possibly slightly less efficient to the tune of about 150 to 200 Guardians an hour which I'm willing to sacrifice to make it look good. So what are we going to do? Yeah you can hear them in there too, I should turn it off. First things first, I'm going to put in the pillars and they're just going in at the corners of particular blocks here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's our front face. And then a gap of three. Is that right? Is that what I do? Yes, it is. Oh, I'm going mad. A gap of three and then this one becomes prismarine. And when I dig out the bit in the middle, these pillars will stay. Because you've got to have something supporting the roof. Oh, and I made that too high. Okay, let's go down the smart way. Yeah, that's better than hurting myself. So I'm going to do that all the way around. And then I'm going to dig this out. And then we're going to get decorative. And I'll also work out where we're going to put our stairs in, which I actually do need these pillars for. But first, let's get digging. And then let's get decorative. Here we are back. And things look a little different. Remember our stairs were right up against that big cobble wall? Well, the stairs haven't moved, but the wall has. I've turned the farm off for the moment. I'm just going to... Oh, and I've put in the floor, which also helps with lighting. I'm just going to very carefully, and I mean carefully, remove the wall here and the wall here and replace it with prismarine and glass. And hopefully... I have calculated correctly as to where my signs are because otherwise <laughs> that's not going to be fun. We're okay so far. There we go. It's this bottom one I'm worried about. And I don't care if the cobble goes in there. There we go. So I'm going to do that all the way around and I'll just do this last one. I'll show you what I'm going to do at the corners. All right. There we go. So prismarine at the corners. And I'm thinking of putting some cyan glass there, but I'm not sure yet. Anyway, I'll do the rest of this. And then we'll talk about stairs. And there you have it. That is the centre. Well, I've still got it turned off, but eventually you'll be able to just see the guardians tumble down. You'll hear them going through this. And, yeah, I'm putting in cyan glass. I mean, I really do like the unobstructed view up. 
but I've fallen down into this a few too many times so I thought the cyan glass was nice with the prismarine but enough of that stairs now I'm taking out these ones and I'm putting in slabs instead and I've used um, Plots Modeler which is a UK site specifically for Minecrafters I've used it to work out curves and circles and things um, and the stairs are going to be built along circles so if we come up here all the way up you can see I have laid out three large circles and they're going to be markers for our stairs which will start down there and then continue up here and I'll put a link to um, plots in the description because it's such a useful site so first things first <coughs> excuse me uh, first things first we might remove these oh <laughs> yes well okay I'll be bringing back some cement and some glazed terracotta to fill that in oh dear oh well there we go now next one is four wide I've worked all this out and I've got it on graph paper in front of me and then this one is four wide next to the column and this one is four wide so it ends up being offset and that way we've got our it, curve coming from here and round and it's working on the same radius as this stairwell too so it's a diameter of right this line is a diameter of 32 this line is a diameter of 36 if you're trying to work out how I did it um, this one also needs to be four so I'll get rid of that oh and you would make me walk down wouldn't you oh it's not very far and I need some more slabs so let's make some more slabs that won't be enough but meh oh and you can come out which means I need to get even more resources from the base oh well now what's next uh, Three, four, 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 four offset, and, and that will have to come out. There's a bit of toing and froing with making steps. No, that didn't have to. Well, it did have to come out actually, because it was a double slab and shouldn't have been. Thank you. That was gratifying. And this is four, and we can use the column. And this is three, and this platform is now one too low. So I'll just take that out. going to put it between the columns so we end up with a platform four blocks by four blocks and I'm just going to repeat the same process on this side ah there was a bat in there okay all right that's our steps up from the actual farm but we're going to go further up because I'm so sick of using that ladder and now that it comes up into glass it's just that little bit more difficult so I'm going to 
step it up. Thank you. And I'm going to make a platform that is four by three. There we go. And now we're going to step it up again. And I should be able to take that out without any problem. Yep. So we do three and then another three. You have to excuse me, I seem to have a bit of a croak today. And three again. Ah, uh, oh well, not far at the moment. And now we need to start taking out the space above us. Oh, and huh, because things can spawn here, I need to remember to put torches down. So, not that one, but uh, this one. Yeah. That's one of my markers. Uh, One, two, three, and four. Might leave the markers in at the moment. One, two, three. Unless they stop me getting out, which they will. All right, you'll have to come out. Ow. Yeah, I forgot about that, didn't I? I haven't put all the steps in. How about we put the rest of the steps in before I do any more of that? So we've got three going up from the platform. And then curving in one. And two, there we go. Ah, a bit of toing and froing, isn't it? And what's next? I'll have to go down for that. So three up and then two in line with each other. And Take out how many? Uh, four. Oh, thunder and lightning. Just what we wanted. And another three. Let's go down and get those. Love to control bad weather. But you can't do that in survival. Not when you got cheats turned off anyway. Okay, what is next? So we've done our three, our three. The next is four curving in. And get rid of that because it's going to be another double. And I have to get rid of our markers because they're stopping me from placing blocks. And the last one is one, two, three. So that steps up. Uh, yeah. So I'll do the same on the other side. And then I think that when it comes to building these, I think we'll do it as a time lapse, but first, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one of these is going to be in the right position. One, two, three, four, five, six. That one's not. These are going to get tidied up as well, and they're also going to dictate where our stairs go. So I need one that's at the right height. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
So that one. Right. So that is where our floor level is going to be. Yep. Okay. Can I reach that one? Yep. Okay, so that's our floor level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, gap of seven. So our stairs will come up to that height. And I think those we will do as a third person time lapse. So I'll go down and finish off the other curve up. And then let's get into some serious stair building. There we have it. That's our stairway and as you can see I've also knocked out the sand walls up there but I've partly built them here and we're going to go up from here and this bit's going to be open. I know I want trading halls in each of these four corners. I don't really know what I want to do with them beyond that so I've got to think about that but that's not a bad day's work. We've made a bit of a push on. I'm not entirely happy as to how dark this place is in the day. So I'm thinking of replacing some of those slabs with glass. We'll think about it. Anyway, that's it. And if you've enjoyed it, please hit the like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And as the Guardian sinks slowly behind us, I think we'll call it quits. So I'll see you next time. Bye.